What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Muscle, and this is another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast. And today, we have a legendary guest in the building. Listen, this man had brought you songs like Earth A Run Red, Brown Skin, and so many others. But right now, he has a new album coming out tomorrow, Friday. We're talking about this album is called Together We Stand. You know who we have in the building today? We have Richie Spice in the building today. What's going on, Big Boss? Yes, man, greetings, you know, giving thanks to life, health and strength, you know. Let every living thing that move it and keep it up on the face of the earth, the early king this time. Give thanks, man. For sure, for sure. Thank you so very much for joining us on our podcast today. Yes, man, give thanks for having me likewise, you know. All right. And you know, the funny thing with you, just the other day I was going through some music and stuff and I said, you know what, what type of songs would be good for right now? And one of the songs that was on top of my list was your song, Earth I Run Red. You know what I mean? Like, yes. look at that. When did you actually record that song? Uh, damn, that song was recorded in uh, Earth I Run Red record in 19... 97, 98, I want to 97, 98, that's how long it's yeah. been. Yeah. Wow. And especially what was happening then to make it actually record a song like that that's even more relevant right now? Well, um, what was taking place at that time is that, um, you see, we are, you know, the masses are the little youth, them um, don't have any guidance, you know, and we see the direction that, you know, they are heading to. You know, so we, as I look at you now, you know, coming up now, you know, looking out, you know, it, that inspiration come forth, you know, so that's where that song come from. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Now, you know? yeah, no, that's one, that's definitely mm -hmm. one, one of the songs when you talk, think about Richie Spice, it's definitely a song that I'm thinking about right off the top. You know what I mean? And another one of your classical ones was like, um, Brown Skin and all of those ones there. These were in the beginning of your career here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and that was the type of stuff that you were putting out. So you had showed that you could do culture, you could do lovers rock, and that's what we really like about Richie Spice. Yes, oh yes, man. You know that um is a balance, you know. So you know you have to balance the skill. Yeah. You know, so you know the ladies them are there, so you're always gonna have to sing something for them to yeah. you know, them feel good within themselves, you know, going out and coming in. For sure, yeah. one hundred percent. And I know you're coming from a musical family too. Yes. Who, who are your brothers? Tell the people who your brothers are. Well, we have people like I'm um, a younger brother, Snatch a Lion. You know, he's here with us now. You have um, bigger brother, Spanabana. You know, you have uh, players from Chakademo and players. Mm -hmm. You know, you have Richie Spice, likewise. You know. Yeah, crazy. And what was it like growing up in your house musically? What type of stuff were you guys actually listening to back then? Well, growing up as a little youth, we normally listen to like the elders. You talk about like the Burning Spear, Bob Marley, the Jimmy Cliff, Beres Ford Herman, those type of people. Because you know that's the type of music that we really get to listen as a little youth. Our brother who used to work at this radio station back here in Jamaica. You know, he always had a, had a turntable at that time. Okay. You know, so you normally like get the LPs and the forty fives or Sunday day times. You know, it's those music that listen to street you know yeah makes sense and when did you actually decide to get into the business or when did you even discover that you could actually use your voice to sing well it started out as um you know you know i mean you have bigger brothers in the music business that you watch them um practice at time and rehearse and all these things mm -hmm. you know so you watch it and it's the vibe you know it inspire you you know, to try to test your voice, your vocal, to see where you're at, you know? Yeah. Then, um, you have a sound system where we are in between, a couple chain from my house, we're in between, you know, whenever time the sound string up, you know, you know that glass start rattling and all these things. So you can yeah. think, yes, if I that music was in my house, you know, also, yeah. you know, so, I mean, growing up now, when we started out about, about 18, 19. Okay. Uh, trying to record, you know, Spano was the first time to take me to a recording studio. Okay. You know, I uh, record my first song with um, a guy called Dennis Star. Yeah. You know, from there we went to Bobby Digital and back to Tough Bang. I still get the song with Clive on Groove in My Girl, you know. Okay. And who did you record that for? 
That song will record for um, Island Records to live on. God, you big, yeah. big, big. And this was, Groove and My Girl was before Earth, Earth Run Red or that came after? It was before. It was before. But yeah. Earth Run Red basically got the bus first and then we started hearing Groove and My Girl? Yeah, more, more. I mean, yeah. yeah. More, more on, a, on a wider scale, yeah. Yeah. No, that's big right there. All right. And right now, today, is this your first album you're putting out, Together We Stand, or this is yours? What number album is this? This is the... Yes. Yeah. Yes, album. Yeah. Wow. I didn't realize it was so much. I thought it was probably two or three. I did not realize that you had eight albums out. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So it's like, I guess, from you started recording, that's how you recorded singles and albums back then? Yeah. Yes, man. Singles. Mostly singles until, you know, start developing now, start record album. Yeah. Okay, wow. So then let's get into this album here, Together We Stand. When was your last album that came out before this one that's coming out? Well, the last album came out 2012. 2012. Yeah. Okay, and I guess that's a, that's an eight-year break. So why was there such a long break before you came out with this album here? Well, why was the long break, you know? I mean, this album here, you know, we're taking time to put it together, you know, um... You know, to see that's when it come out now. I mean, you know, people may appreciate of it. You know, so we spend the time on it and um and choosing tracks and all these things and back and forth and re-recorded and all these things, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely because I listened to the whole album and the funny thing with it, right now this album has 15 tracks and that's a lot of tracks for it. No, yeah, 15 tracks. That's a lot of tracks for today's market. But it's like once you listen to it, it flows so seamless that you don't even realize that it's 15 tracks altogether. Yeah, yeah. That's good. I like that. Like to eat, love to hear that, you know? Yeah. It's That's because, you. yeah, you showed you showed a lot of different styles. You showed your cultural style. You showed your lover's rock style. I'd even swear on one track, you even kind of gave them almost like a DJ's type of different Richie Spice style. You know, vice versa, man. And you don't know, you know, style and pattern and everything. And, you know, yeah. so it, uh, it a different mood and different feeling, you know? Yeah. Okay, let's go through some of these tracks here. I know it's 15 tracks. We're not going to go through all of them, but let's go through a couple of them. Just like even the um, intro here, Blessings. All right. What was the thinking? How did you even come up with that one there? Well, the whole intro, you know, I mean, um, come up by, you mean, togetherness, you know, people coming together and, you know, choose the right thing. You know, the right way to enter the album and send it out in a crisis like this, you know. Yeah, definitely makes sense. And then we got to the title track. One of the one of my favorite songs on the album is the title track, Together We Stand. It seems like it brought us right back to that 1996, 7, 8, Richie Spice. I felt that same feeling of listening to an Earth I Run Red. Well, that's a good vibe to know that, you know, we're keeping, uh, we're keeping, keep, keeping, keeping on and we, 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 we're staying focused. I'm, I'm confident in that to do you know, not lose track, you know. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yeah, no, definitely. And what are some what are some of your favorite tracks on the album? I know that its whole body of work is yours, but what, what are some that's really special and dear to you? Well, I mean I, oh my. I mean the 15 tracks, you know, you know, like having 15 children. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know that none is not special to your cars. You know, 15 tracks, 15 songs, 15 mm -hmm. songs with different um, mood, different attitude, you know, dealing with different issues. And every issue is um, very important, mm -hmm. you know. So, I mean, to pick one and say, yes, this one, no, everything is important, you know. Yeah, all of them had their importance to you. Yep. yep. Like, okay, we'll go for something that I've never really heard a reggae artist sing, especially a reggae artist from um, Jamaica sing about somewhere like California. It's usually you'd hear people sing about Jamaica, Jamaica. But for you to sing about California, like walk us through how you even came up with that song and what that song's really about. Well, I've been to California, really, you know, I see. It's all about um, herbs. You know, yeah. you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, 
where it's me. I went to California and we see we are it's me. Um, went on a farm and see we are it's me. The people, all the people grow the weed, okay, grow the herbs. Yeah, and you know, I, I was so inspired. It was so inspiring to me. You know, we are it's me. I have to question them and thing, and you know, that's how the song come about. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Makes sense, and I guess that has something to do with, and even the next track, Dabbing. That's, I guess, that that's a part of the whole California vibe, also. Same, that's the same thing. Now you got it there. That's the same thing, man. That's the same thing because that's where I went and see and see and learn about Dabbing and see, you know, the real people dab and 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 and, and, and how refined the herbs can, can get. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. definitely. For real. Because from I heard when I heard California, I heard Dabbing, I said, okay, clearly Richie Spice knows what he's talking about. It's just for some other people to catch up because that California scene, it's almost like a like a country to itself. Mm -hmm. You understand? Hurry. Yeah. Hurry. Once you go out there, the vibe is different. A lot of different things are happening. It's a whole different vibe out there. Total opposite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Crazy big big there. All right, the next one here with you and um chronics unity we need. How did that even come around? Because I like the energy and I like the back and forth between you and chronics on that one there. Well, apparently, I'm gonna like the vibration that I'm um, kind of carrying out and the type of music and the direction that he's heading, you know, and where he had to, you know, and putting the album together now and team, you know, you know, it was one of the person we said that um, you know, would like to feature on the album. Yeah. You know, and approach him and you know he didn't back down step up with the plate and uh he did a nice a nice collaboration you know and it, we appreciate love and team you know turned out very great yeah no it was excellent uh, excellent excellent song and another collaboration i know that you have is with um dre island that's mm -hmm. another one of my favorites right there how did that come yeah. out well uh dre always you know around the element and thing and we have to say yes, you know, Dre head on to a, a, um, focusing on the same type of meditation, likewise. You know, I mean, as upcoming artists and TV, so we say, yeah, why not end us likewise, you know? Mm -hmm. Makes sense. And there's one, I think it's four collabs, no, it's three of them all together. And then this next one is a young lady. I can't remember her name. She was track four for a Beautiful name Life. It's uh, Catherine Ariel. Yes. Yeah, that, tell, me, tell me about her. She is from Canada. She was already introduced to me. Yeah, she already introduced to me by um, a member of the Element uh, Music Group. Yeah, yeah really she mean we listen to her and you know we hear that she have a, a, a unique voice, very really much mean um, we say it would make sense, you know, match up on TV, you know, and that's where it came and she came to Jamaica on TV and went to the studio for you know, record a son at Tough Girl, the national um, that's where we, we seat up and, and you know, I record it together and I mean, this is how it came out, you know? Yeah, no, big, 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 big song there. And there was one other song that I've heard, I know I heard this song from, I think, last year. This is probably one of the only songs I heard from last year is, I Use the Herbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, man, because, I mean... The herbs, as we say, you know, that the herbs are the nation and thing, and the herbs have a lot of benefit towards it, wherein which means we always have to endorse the herb because, you know, we see wherein which means, you know, it can help out, it can help a lot of people, you know, especially here in Jamaica, here, wherein which means, mm -hmm. it can provide a lot of jobs and all these things. You know, and the more people have, 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 have jobs and all these things, you know, cutting down on crime rate and all these things. And, you know, well, well a lot of benefit, man. Yeah. No, a lot sure. of benefit. And the medical purpose of it, you know, we're in which mean, you know, very expensive, you know, and can lift our economy so high and get so broad and all these things, we're in which mean, you know, can we find ourselves living in a better society, better country right here, you know? Yeah. No, it totally makes sense. And what's the herb situation in Jamaica like now, ganja? Because I know one time you would get charged and stuff like that. But what's the situation like right now? Well, right now in Jamaica, it more, it more, it's not that difficult as it was before because now it, it, it has been decriminalized. 
you know, we're in between, you know, the government so that you can plant like a five tree in the back of your yard. Okay. You know, and if you catch it, a few ones or so, you know, you're free to go. Mm -hmm. You can smoke a spliff, you know, but you know, you're smoking your designated, designated areas and all these things, you know, and, and TV. But it's, it's much more freer than before than when it, that it was that pressure rain where it means you know, you know you get lack of your a spliff and all these things you know yeah no mm -hmm. you're 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 100 right and you're somebody you've toured the world as an artist all right outside of jamaica where has the best marijuana the best herb in the world that you found well you know well you have various places you know you have various places man because you have um people in california grow good herbs you know, I have some place in Europe that go with her likewise, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so you'd say for you it would be Europe and California has some of the um, best herbs there. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely you know, next to... Jamaica. You know me not leave out Jamaica. <laughs> well, that's why uh, that's why I sent you outside of Jamaica. Then that yeah, means next time you come to Canada. Jamaica becomes name because call more than once, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. That means next time you come to Canada, we definitely got to set you up with somebody because when it comes to North America, some of the best herbs, marijuana, weed is coming out of Canada right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Canada. Canada. Yeah, for real. Yeah. And Sorry you'd, ne that. <laughs> you'd never believe that, <laughs> especially it being so cold out here. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. Yes. On to this, another thing with this album here. I've seen a preview for the video I think is coming out tomorrow. Okay? Yes. All right. Listen, when I seen when I seen that video, it was just beautiful. You could almost feel the energy coming right through your screen. And this was a quick 15 seconds after I saw. All right? Talk about that video. Where did you guys actually film it? And this is for the title track, Together We Stand, right? Yeah. Where did you actually film it? And what was the idea behind that video? Well, um, the video were filmed at um, this place called um, the place near um, Garden Town. Yeah. Yeah, Garden Town. And um, we did some of the film here in UND. Yes. Um, the, yes, the whole aspect and the whole um, thing behind this video here is, you know, we're showing togetherness, yes. especially in this time. You know, people stand together, you know, build with, with, together, you know, um, you know, divide, build together, we stand, I mean, and united, we stand and divide with the fire, mm -hmm. you know. So the whole concept, I mean, is coming togetherness, you know, and yeah. people, where people see people as people and people are treated as people, you know. 100% agree. And somebody like you, a veteran yeah. artist that's been in the game for so long, how important are visuals for you in 2020? Visuals. Music videos and stuff. How important is it for you? It's for very you? important, you know. Very important, especially a time like now we are in which mean um you know the whole social media and all these things. We're in which mean it helps that situation at time like this now we're in which mean. You know, I mean, people out there cannot get, I, I don't have the opportunity right now to see their favorite artists. Yeah. You know, so, you know, this medium is very much mean. You know, people can see their favorite artists and things. So, I mean, I find it very important right now. Yeah. You're 100% you're, you're right. And all right, the album is called, I'm just, uh, what's the name of the album again? Together We Stand. Together We Stand. And when is it coming out? Well, um, it's, this album released the 12th of June. Okay. Digitally, yeah. Yeah. But what um, platforms could they pick it up on? Well, you can pick it up on all digital platforms. It was released by VP Records. Mm -hmm. the, the, the vinyl will be released, will release at um, the 20, the 27th of this month here, yeah. Okay, the vinyl. Okay, so I, I didn't even know. How important is it for you to actually still be doing vinyl? right now as an artist well, it's very important you know because you see where it's coming back around you know we see the people in europe uh, coming all about and buying the final and you know it's getting back there we can we can see that you know yeah definitely definitely i know especially like in europe japan mm -hmm. and asia mm -hmm. those places there they consume a lot of vinyl yeah definitely 
Definitely, for sure, for sure. You spoke about social media before I get you out of here. If they want to check you out on social media, check out your stuff. Where can they check you out? One Rich Spice. That's number one Rich Spice. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, you know, you, you find that we, you go there, everything you show up, you see everything. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Richie Spice. Before I get you out of here, the floor is yours. Any last words before we get you out of here? Any inspiration, anything before we go? Inspiration, but we never we don't have a last word because we always going to keep um, talking, you know? Yeah. But we said it to the people, right? We must say first of all, we must say give thanks to the eye, you know, for your time. Th thank you. You know, give thanks to your support. If I'm doing what you're doing, you know, I go job my life. Thank you. I'm saying to the people right now, you know, be safe. You know, be kind to each other. You know, love your brothers and, and sisters or your neighbors yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, love God and live. Remember that there's always Almighty. You know, um, a creator. Um, one love, man. One love. Peace and love every time. You know, keep on supporting the Spice and I keep on supporting your good music. Yeah. You know, just guide until we meet up in the physical, you know. You understand. As I said, yeah. when I started this interview, the first thing I brought to you was Urta Runway. Before we get it out of here, could you actually give us a quick a cappella to end this conversation? Watch those places you walk and mind the way you talk. Watch out for them vampires who will sneak up in the dark. Watch out for them big time thief who claim say that them smart. But I bring in the crack and the gun for come mess up the youths, them art. You know the rest, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Richie Spice, it's been great. Thank you. Everybody, you guys need to check out on all digital platforms. Together we stand the album by Richie Spice. We haven't got one in eight years. And trust me, listen to me. It's a great album. Big up VP, the whole crew over there. Richie Spice, thank you so very much. And I can't wait to actually meet up in the living flesh. All right? God bless my lad. Big up all yourself. Right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle, and this has been another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast, and we are out. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichut.com.